I'm Jim Shiro, and I'm a proud fourth generation Kansan, and I consider myself lucky to call this place home. I love this state, and I know you do too. That's why I'm running for Congress. I want my kids and yours to know and appreciate the great privilege that has been given to us by the generations of Kansans who came before us. They paid it forward, and now it's our turn. I grew up in a small farm town, attended public schools, and in 1970, enlisted in the Air Force to serve my country. Afterward, I returned to school and earned degrees in history and education. I wanted to know everything I could about the history of my home state and perhaps transfer that knowledge and understanding along to the next generation. In 1992, my hope became reality and I became the Kansas historian at K-State in Manhattan. I have been writing about Kansas and teaching young Kansans now for 22 years. In that time, I came to admire the old-fashioned Kansas populist views of government embraced by my grandfather. Those tough Kansans believed that government worked best when it served the needs of the average citizen. They asserted that Americans should be secure in what they earned. They believed that working people should get their fair share of profits. They believed that both government and corporate interests should be limited. Above all, they believed that Americans should be protected from abuse by the powerful. Populists did not go around saying government was the problem. They understood that responsible government by the people must work for the people. My deep faith in these Kansas values led me to run for city commission in Manhattan. In 2007, I was elected to help Manhattan fulfill a vision for its future. I was then re-elected and served a term as mayor. Our goals were a more beautiful city, better jobs, and a vibrant business community. I think we met those goals, and then some. In fact, Forbes magazine recently named Manhattan as one of the 10 best cities in the nation for business, and CNN named the city as one of the 10 best places to retire young. In spite of the national recession, unemployment in Manhattan held steady at 4%, and the city rebuilt schools and parks and invested in a multi-million dollar downtown redevelopment project. The Census Bureau reports that Manhattan metro area is the 10th fastest growing in the nation and the fastest growing city in the state. Today, construction has begun in Manhattan on the new National Bio and Agro Defense Facility, a $1.25 billion investment in protecting the nation's agriculture. Critics said it was impossible in such a short space and time, but by pulling together average citizens, business owners, and elected officials, we did it. Now, I want to bring that same spirit of cooperation to the first district. Enough is enough. Congressmen and women need to start working together. We need to practice respect for each other. We need to be responsible to the voters, and we need results, not political posturing. We are facing several pressing problems that require our focus attention. Growing debt, immigration reform, slow job growth, I want to bring back responsible governance to the first district and the nation. I believe that Kansans deserve an effective voice in Congress, one who will represent their true interests and lead the district toward a viable future. 